Hi everyone, it's Chris. Welcome back to my parlour. And today is All Souls Day, a day for us to remember those that have passed, our loved ones that have passed on to heaven or wherever you believe souls reside. And I thought I would um, just do some quotes today rather than a reading per se. So it's sort of just um, a general idea of how we cope with the loss of a loved one and how we remember them and especially if we're new to grief if you're on the process of grieving at the moment know that we have been there before you and we know that it's a long journey an individual journey and one that you need to make in honor of yourself does that make sense it's it's hard to explain unless you've journeyed through grief and yeah so today I'm just going to give us all some quotes some positive quotes just to help us to guide us as we remember our loved ones that have passed so I'm going to pour a cup of tea I have one of our my ancestor cards today that hopefully represents someone that you have lost, that you are grieving, that you have a memory of today. So I'm going to put that up there just so we can have a look at it to remember our ancestors, our loved ones on this day, All Souls Day. So I have six cards here to choose from today. Each one has a different verse about grief and about loved ones. And also I want to give you a, a quote from this, which I think sometimes we need to hear. It's like doing something in honour of a loved one. What would your loved one, what would they like you to do? How do they want to see you progress? And today I will. So I thought I'd give one of those as well. So I've got one through to six so you can choose one two three four five or six okay and then i'll also give you a quote for each card so you choose whichever one you want one two three four five six you choose the one that you want and then we'll go from there okay Number one, let's have a look at your card and see what it says, shall we? Number one, take time to grieve all that has been lost, the love, the laughter, all the ups and downs. As you move through the pain, the memories will be your cushion. That's oh. right. So, today I will. What would you do today to honour yourself and your loved one? Oh. Today I will write a piece of poetry to myself. Poetry for myself. Let's have a read of that, shall we? Use your own poetic structure, rhyme and grammar, and no one else's. Let the poem evoke a moment in time, a person, an event, an impression or a feeling. Put yourself in a creative space and indulge in the intensity of the experience. This poem is for you alone. Live in full and exquisite colour. Find the sacred in the ordinary. Give a voice to the deep and meaningful part of yourself. Rejoice in your insights. So write a piece of poetry for yourself that to honour today on All Souls Day. So thank you, number one. Number two, let's have a look at your grief card. 
Remember your past. Cherish your memories. Don't live only there. You are still alive. Look around yourself today. See the new day. You are still making memories. There is more of life to come. Trust the process. And in honour of yourself and your loved one, let's find a little bit of... Today I will... Today I will give myself permission to relax and to take it easy. We need to do that sometimes to replenish our stock, replenish our energy, restore our place in the, in the world. Because sometimes we lose focus of the world around us when we are grieving, when we are remembering our past, our love of this person that we are seeking to a connection with today sometimes we forget there is a world around us and so when we relax we can find that space within ourselves so breathe deeply and slow down your thoughts take a break reschedule ask for an extension on a due date or deadline it's not the end of the world if one deadline is missed especially if the deadline is self-imposed Lower your stress levels. Realise that there is enough time to do whatever you want in your life today, your week and your life. Thank you. Number three, let's have a look at yours and see what might be coming through for you, what message is there. Just as you cherish their presence, now love them in their absence. And today, what would you do to honour yourself and the memory of a loved one? Today I will... Courageously look fear in the face. Let's read that. Visualise doing something you're fearful of and ask yourself what the worst, worst outcome could be. Now imagine the worst that could happen if you don't face this fear. Have faith. Overcoming obstacles will make you stronger. Fear can save us from life-threatening situations, but sometimes fear denies us life-affirming new adventures. Don't be afraid to move forward. Acts of courage are rewarded. So today I will courageously look fear in the face. Thank you. Number five, th four, number four, sorry, number four, getting ahead of myself, number four. Forgiveness is a gift we give to ourselves. If you have trouble with the word forgiveness, you may use letting go or finding peace. Be willing to find a little forgiveness today. And today, in honour of yourself... And the memory of someone that's special to you. Today I will. Today I will bring my inner world to light. Let's read it. Write continuously three pages. Simply start writing and allow your thoughts and feelings to surface. Continue writing without worrying about grammar or trying to edit your words. Don't plan what you'll write or pause to read over pages until you've finished the third page. Make time for reflection. Each day brings new experiences and the way you respond to those experiences creates your attitudes, habits and personality. Stay in control of your life through regular reflection and self-inquiry. somewhere in there perhaps the sickness 
the forgiveness you seek will be there as well. So thank you. Number five. I got that one right this time. Number five. Here's your card. Healing grief does not mean you forget. There will always be a hole in your heart. It will start will still hurt, but with time it it will hurt less often. Allow the power of grief to further your healing and remember that your love is forever. And today I will in honor of yourself and the loved one. In honor of them, what will you do today? Mm. Two of these, I don't know which one to give you. Two of these. Hmm. Today I will compose my own wise saying. And today I will creatively seek solutions. Let's read the first, shall we? The first one. Today I will compose my own wise saying. Imagine you are famous. And a reporter is interviewing you. What have you learned that you would like to share with the world? Give your unique perspective on life. No one else will have experienced life quite like you. Seek the greater significance of incidents and events in your life. Celebrate the lessons that life has taught you by distilling your own experiences in a piece of insight or of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a story, and everyone's story is worthy of telling. And today I will creatively seek solutions. To solve a problem, take yourself to a contrasting environment. If it's a work-related issue, go to a cafe or park. Describe the situation to yourself in the third person, as though you were talking about someone else. List every possible solution, even the wild and outrageous ones. What advice will you give your best friend, yourself? Step, step back from your worries. Observe yourself and your circumstances to make your issues and options clear. Mm. Thank you. Number six. Let's have a look at your card, shall we? Grief is a reflection of love. Most would rather love and grieve than to have never experienced their loved ones in this lifetime. It's true. I would never not have my loved ones. I can't imagine not ever having them, but I appreciate their presence in my life when they were in my life, and that's what I I um, focus on. So, yeah, focus on how you experience their love today. Just focus on that. And today, what will you do to... Honour that, to honour their affection. Oh, this would be nice. Today I will communicate with a friend by drawing pictures. How very interesting. Art therapy sounds wonderful. Let's read it, shall we? Using a large piece of paper and coloured pencils, pens, crayons or textures, chalks or paint, one person starts by drawing on the page, and then the other responds. Abstract shapes and squiggles are all part of this language. Don't speak while your concentration takes place. Conversation, sorry, takes place on this page. Talk about your experiences afterwards. Nonverbal communication accesses a different and creative part of you. Rediscover each other in delightful ways. So you could have a, a conversation with your past um, loved one. How would you communicate with them? With just paper, colour pencils, pens, crayons, textures, chalk or paint. 
what would they look like? What kind of conversation would you have with them? What would they respond in like? That's a very interesting way of conversing, isn't it? So thank you. Okay, everyone, I hope that was thoughtful. I got a bit um, fumbling over my words there a bit because it is lost. It's everyone, All Souls Day, and you know, I've lost quite a few family members over the years. Quite a few. <laughs> more than, well, not more than anybody else, but more than I would really want to have had gone in this time of my life. So. I've got more to come, so we all have that in our lives, don't we? We never know how long our life is going to be. But anyway, so I'm sorry I have been a bit um, tumbling of my words today. And so I hope you can understand that it's because... I, I feel this today as well, just as anybody else does. So you can know that I am going along with you on this journey and that we all go on, on a grief journey from time to time. And we take that journey individually, but sometimes we often meet up along the way and have a conversation or, as in this stage here, a, a reading for you when we sort of meet um compare notes as it were and then continue on that journey remembering grief is a journey that's very individual no one can tell you how long to grieve or how to grieve it's all a very individual thing so today on all souls day i hope to remember my loved ones and i hope you remember yours so until next time so many blessings